Okay, this is PISS 4400's Think Tank Slash Fair Use School and Lessons for Mr. George Alexander Yarrett and any, and any other motherfucker that's watching me. Shit. Let's get the fuck started here, fatty. Uh, let's, we're going to get into the subject of further information regarding fair use. And we're, for, we're on a website called nolo law for all uh, dot com and shit I'll put the motherfucking links on both of these websites including the first website and this website as you see on your fucking screen down the fuck on my goddamn uh, fucking uh, uh, description the fuck uh, below so I'm gonna read everything regarding criticism comments opinions Regarding my freedom of speech and my being, which George loves to violate in flag videos and false flag and other shit like that. It says, and I quote, Use, uses that are generally fair use, subject to some general limitations discussed later in the, this article. The following types of usage are usually deem fair uses criticism and comments number one for an example quoting um, this word I don't can't read it what it says but I think it's um, I think it's accepting uh, a work in a review or criticism for purpose of basically I don't know what this word says as I said before um, I don't know what this word says uh, um, but anyway in the beginning um, really in this paragraph it says uh, criticism and comments are welcome and they are considered fair use Mr. Yarrett now, let's get to the second subject, news reporting. For an example, summarize an address or article or brief quotings in a news report. Researching scholarship, re research and scholarships. For an example, quoting a short passage and a uh, article, which I'm saying article because I don't know what these words says, or technical work, or classify of the author's um, observations. Basically, you're criticizing how the person uh, story of a book is, or some shit, or even how people on the TV show is. So when it says, um, you know, classification of the author's uh, observation, that's what it boils down to. Nonprofit educational use, for an example, photocopying of limited portions of written works by teachers for classroom use. Par parodies, that is, a work that is ridicules another unusual uh, usually well known by let's see you get the fuck you get you you get the fuck what I'm saying so basically criticism and comments are falling under fair use mr. Garrett so you you basically um, have failed to uh, basically you have violated my freedom of speech and fair use and if I had the money I would have sued your motherfucking ass shit and what pisses me off is that even though these things are here like what it says uh, that are general fair use even though criticism and comments for an example cruelty um you know, and a work in a review or criticism 
for purpose of whatever for or comment on something this guy will take it as uh, stealing my intellectual property this guy will take it as trolling when all the stuff that I'm reading right now or somewhat halfway reading but I understand the transparency and I'm comprehending even though I can't read what some words say on this fucking website uh, basically all I, under, all I know is criticism and comments fall under fair use so by you looking up my address and find out where I live because I have a different opinion other than you you're violating fair use and you're violating my the first amendment which is freedom of speech and we're going to get to the first amendment right now people at home brothers and sisters and um you're going to see how I do my searches even though I can't spell some of the shit that I want to spell. This is what somewhat. Now, I'm going to do first, I'm going to do free speech here. Freedom of speech. Now, we're going to read this very carefully. I put a disclaimer, but, you know, but under my videos. But it looks like they get ignored by the YouTube people when they flag videos, even though they put them back. Uh, let's see. The First Amendment of the United States Constitution protects the right to freedom of religion and freedom of expression from government interference. See the whatever. Freedom of expression consists of the rights to freedom of speech, press, assembly, and to petition and I don't know what this word said the government for anyway you know uh, what I mean uh, freedom of speech is a right um, this is the first amendment right here and basically we're going to review what we talked about the last time you know, I know George is going to use my reading issues as a um, disadvantage. Keep in mind, this is a guy that was never taught the fundamentals of reading. And that's why you see me with the problem that I got. You know, there may be other people that be laughing at me as well, but I don't give two shits. We're going to review this article one more time as I reviewed in my last video. Mr. Garrett, pay close attention to what I'm saying. Public domain, obviously free. Music, text, and art, copy all you want. If you saw an advertisement like this, you might wonder, what is the catch? When it comes to public domain, there is no catch. If a book, movie, or network is in public is in the public domain, then it is not protected by intellectual property laws I'm gonna read this again if a book song movie or network is in the public domain then it is not protected by intellectual property laws copyright trademark or patent patented laws which means it's free for you to use without permission. I'm going to read this again so Mr. George Yarrick can understand what the fuck I'm talking about. When it comes to public domain, there is no catch. If a book, movie, or artwork is in the public domain, then it is not protected by intellectual laws. Meaning it's not protected by intellectual property laws, you fucking moron. Copyrights. Or it's not protected by the copyright, trademark, or patent laws. Which means it's free for you to use without permission. So Mr. Yarrett, um... What have we learned today about fair use? When something falls in the public domain, which is your show, the Gorgeous George Show, it's on that Richmond Public Access Station, and also, too, 
when it's when something comes on YouTube somewhat, depending on the scenario, which in your case, uh, you are definitely under fair use. Um, so you're violating again my freedom of speech, my being, and my right to um, fair use. And I know you're going to be pissed off and mad at me when I do these videos, but I don't give two shits because I'm going to do what I'm going to do, no matter what weather and climate. I've been doing what I'm doing before any of these people came. So you leave Sean and you leave these other fuckers out of it. It's me and you only. I'm alone in this motherfucking world called Piss 4400. Nobody cares about me but my motherfucking self. And I'm being honest here, bro. And you know what? As for everybody else, uh, no hard feelings, but I gotta speak to GDMFT. Goddamn motherfucking truth. And that's what it boils down to. I'm Piss4400. This is Piss4400's Think Tank. Where the fuck's on my mind? I pop the same way as that blood that comes out. When your titty bitch as a goddamn motherfucking period. And the time is now 7.21 p.m. I see y'all the goddamn motherfucking later. Goodbye now, niggas. Shit.